Hello guys, welcome back to our labs. So this is lab seven in which we're gonna, uh, you know, set up a project, an assembly project in uh, Visual Studio with Irvine library. So let's, you know, here is basically the manual that I'm gonna share with you on Canvas soon. And I'm gonna do it with you step by step. So first we're gonna download Irvine library from this link, you know, will uh, download directly once you click on this on this link it will you know uh, download the Irvine library directly to your computer you know and you can store it anywhere but of course you should you should know where exactly you store it because we're gonna need the path to that you know location then you should open you know uh, Visual Studio I already open it you know and then we're gonna create a new project so here is create new project, new, and the project. Then uh, it choose uh, console application. So we're gonna choose console application and click next here. Then you should choose, you know, a name for your project. Here I'm suggesting a name, Lab7 Irvine Library, although I have already, you know, a project Called, uh, called such, so I'm gonna leave, you know, the default, you know, the default name here uh, that appears to me. So here is basically, you know, the, uh, the new project, okay? Uh, we're gonna now, you know, try to modify such a project in order to, in, to make it first assembly project because it's now C++, as you see guys here, this is a C++ and, you know, uh, also include our Irvine library. So, uh, right click on the project name in the Solution Explorer window. This is a Solution Explorer window. We are gonna right click on the project name. This is the project name. It choose build the dependency. It choose build the customization and then, you know, check MASM you know, that's basically assembly project and they click OK. Uh, there is a C++, you know, uh, file already open. We don't need this file. So we're gonna just go here, uh, go and remove that guy. You can even delete it from the, you know, the disk, that's fine also. Then we're gonna add, you know, a new file, a new item. You can choose it C++, but then here in the name, it choose it, you know, it, choose, it changes the, the, the extension to ASM, assembly. Okay, and of course you can choose any name here. For example, you can choose lab seven, you know, although I have it already, but you know, lab seven. So here is, you know, the, the new file. Uh, we're gonna right click again on the project name in Solution Explorer window and you choose properties. And then you choose linker. Here is the linker window. I'm sorry, option. And you know, we're gonna go to the blank area in front of additional library directories, which is that one, and click on the blank, you know, uh, blank, you know, uh, look, is this, is this blank, you know, area? Then from this arrow here, it shows edit. Here we gonna put, you know, uh, a new line. This is the icon for the new line. And basically uh, we're gonna browse here for the location of the Irvine library. So let's go to it. It's in, in my computer, it's in lab, Irvine. So, this is basically the content of the directory that you're gonna download when you click on that link. But we need to, you know, point to the folder that contains such, you know, uh, folders, which is that one. Select folder and click OK. Good. We did that here. You can click apply. Good. Then we go to uh, step 14. 
expand the linker option. It's only expanded. So this is the linker option. We can expand it like this. And from the all option, all options uh, item here, we choose it. And we go to additional additional dependencies. So we should go up additional dependency. Here is additional. Just a click here, and then click you know on the arrow and click edit, and uh, copy and paste you know uh, this Irvine thirty two dot lib into here, and click OK. Then we choose Microsoft Macro Assembler and in include paths. We put the path, you know, we we copy and paste the path to you know the uh, the Irvine library. So let's navigate to Irvine library. Here is Irvine Labs, Irvine library. Yeah, here is the you know the content of the you know the of the library. So. I'm gonna right click here, edit address, copy, and just paste it here, and click apply. Okay. We don't need this anymore, and click OK as well. Now we're gonna copy and paste this program. So like this, and we continue. This is a continuation of the program. And from debug option, here is the debug option. We choose start without debugging. And here it is. This is the magic, you know, that basically the Irvine library can do for us. So one of the uh, functions of Irvine library is called uh, as we see in the lecture called dump rigs, dump registers, basically. In which when you call this function, it will dump the, the, all the register values into, you know, a, a console window. This is called, this window here is called a console window. That's why we choose console uh, uh, project uh, in the beginning when we choose the project type. Then, of course, you should take a screenshot of that window and put it in your, uh, you know, report here and the file the report back. Okay, guys, that was it for the lab seven. Thank you very much and see you in the next lab. Bye-bye.